Alright guys, welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. In today's test drive, 1968 Pontiac GTO 400 under the hood. Power steering, power brakes. And of course, we're going to be taking it down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you get before you get here. Go to maplemotors.com for financing, shipping, detailed pictures. And of course, if you hit subscribe, you can see content from us every week. We put about 10 cars on every Monday at 11. We're going to be dropping the top. Before we do that, let's go ahead and check it out. It looks like it has been replaced. It's nice. It's clean. See the back window, the glass is in good shape too. This car does need a paint job. We'll be going over the paint and looking uh, for any kind of rust, chips, dents, scratches, whatever I can find. We're going to put that at the end of the video here up front. We're going to be taking it down the road for a test drive, pointing out anything I see. For now, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? It's a game we like to play on the channel just for fun here. Coming across the dash, you do got some little cracks. It's not in perfect shape. The console does have a few little cracks here. Missing the guts. The seats, you know they're actually in pretty good shape. They look pretty good. Get some extra parts in the back. Looks like some old visors. We don't have the visors up here, so those are the ones that were inside the car. Looking on the top here, it's in pretty good shape. And we're gonna be dropping it down here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and start her up. She is still cold. You can see the engine temperatures all the way down here. Looks like our oil pressure gauge is standing up. I don't know how accurate it actually is. Blower motor is not doing anything. Wipers. Switch is messed up on the wipers, it feels like. Turn signals, left is on, right is not popping on. Orange, you place your bets. It's not working. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take off down the road. So I had to move out of the way. They had a shipping truck parked in the parking lot over there. So now I'm gonna drop the top real quick before we leave. Cause it's pretty nice now. The top switches here. I don't, it does work. Good deal. Let's say so, the top is new looking. It's actually coming down pretty fast. Good deal. Okay, we got the top down. And guys, we buy and sell these cars every single day. We don't get into fixing all the little stuff. We just tell you what's wrong so you know what you get before you get here. Let's go ahead and try the back windows. They're working. Uh, the other back window, coming down too. Good deal. Let's hit the road. Let's get the seat belt on and take off here. Reverse, neutral, dry, let's roll. Let's see, vent window, cranking out good. Engine temperature is up, 190. The oil pressure gauge looks more realistic now at 35. It was like almost 75 when we started, it could have been. Of course, our gas gauge is non-existent on this one. So we're gonna go to the gas station first thing. A little tire squeal. Speedo's coming up on the dash. Pretty sure the hood's down. But I always get nervous about it. It looks like it's sitting up a little bit. We're gonna pull over and I'm gonna double check the hood and make sure it's not gonna try to come up on me. Let's see what we got here. Good deal. 
You always get nervous about that. I have had a hood come up in previous videos. This is not cool. <laughs> Okay, that's a full tank now, $30. Uh, gas in there, like six and a half gallons. I must put it in back here behind the tack. Again, non-existent gas gauge. Let's go ahead and head out of here. All right, got y'all set up. Got you on my head here. We're gonna head on back to the lot. I went ahead and did the walk around video. Wipers are not working because there's no plug going to it. Let's see. And the walk around you're gonna wanna see because this one has a lot of cosmetic flaws. The paint, uh, there's dents and scratches and that's gonna be at the end of the video and that's what I did here in the parking lot. It's actually pretty nice over there under that shade tree.
brakes feel pretty good i mean On this one's fairly tight. Got a little bit of slack. It's turning there and it's turning there. Suspension's fairly smooth too. I'm right around the corner from the car lot now. So we're getting ready to pull in there. Again, stick around, getting ready to be picking out the flaws. And it helps me out if you hit subscribe. So thanks guys, I'll be right back. Okay, picking out the flaws. Of course, this one, you know, it's got a weak paint job on it. It's got a lot of chips and scratches. So I'm just gonna be mainly looking for rust and big dents. I'm gonna walk around the ride, check out the trunk, check out the interior. Then we'll get her started, listen to the motor. And of course, we'll end the video, head back to the lot. Look at the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Finance and shipping is available. Let's get started. See on the front end here, it looks like a big dip. In the front there, it's kind of dented up. You see a big scratch coming down the side here. Plus, it looks like some hit there. Bunch of cracks in the paint. Coming down the bottom portion of this door. Got a big bubble popping up back here. Chip here. Pitting on your door handle. Seal around your vent window is definitely crumbling. Pitting around your trim there. See this is kind of hanging out a little bit on this side. Front windshield on this one looks pretty good. Trim is in good shape. You got overspray right here. The top's got a good seal. Bunch of cracking in the paint there. Coming around on the back here, you got dual exhaust coming out the back. Your chrome is pitted up. You got rust back here in the corner. You see the car used to be blue at one time. The back bumper can be cleaned up a little bit better, but it's still not gonna come out. Looking around in the trunk here, 
you got some water in here you've got rust over here bubbles popping up on the back you can see the patch it's really thin here big old patch here and I put some aluminum or something all right yeah this one's been an attention getter though it does have some issues you know some rust here and there but I've had quite a few people stop in now definitely gonna need a truck van get up get around you, know, you got some rust up here oh how that gets folded Somebody must have pried on that. This side's got a little bit too. Coming on down. Shutter. Got some cracks in the paint back here. Coming on down this side. Big old den up here. They backed into something. Bubbles popping up in the back. Doors hanging a little bit. Some scratches, chips everywhere. Looks like a dent here as well. Of course, obviously, this is a project car. Chips up top. In here, fitting on your mirror. This seal looks good on this side. Somebody's replaced it. Front windshield, good shape. Fitting on your door handle. All right, coming on back on the inside here. The door panel looks great. The carpet in this one has been replaced. It's a little dirty for me test driving, but it has been replaced. The seats are in good shape. They're not heat up or torn. Back seat, same way. Some of your panels, they look good. Again, the top's new. The seal over here is a little dry, but you can see that. Passenger seat, same thing, in good shape. Your dash there has got some chips. Your dash pad has got some cracks. Some rust up here. That side's good. Coming around your jam. Seals good. Bottom of the door. Weather stripping's gone right there. Missing the guts. Okay. We got a little gas. old 
horn's not working on this one. I kind of figured it would. Try the wipers again. Maybe if I leave them on, I can mess with the plug up there. Sometimes that works. My wipers are not going to work, there's no plug to it. Aluminum radiator, a couple electric fans. Front here, you got some cracking. Come down with the hood. Got a gap. Stains right here. Looks like a bird crapped on it, and then an acid like ate away the paint. Cracks up here. Got bubbles up top. That's why I thought the hood was open. It was uh, sitting up high. Bubbles there. Okay, guys. I appreciate you watching. I tried to go over everything on this car. We're gonna head on back to the lot. Seems to run and drive good. Does have a lot of paint and cosmetic issues. Go to maplemotors.com for finance and shipping detailed pictures. Hit subscribe, see all kinds of different content. We get project cars, we get show cars. We go all the way through the spectrum here. We don't work on them, we just tell you what's wrong. That actually works out better. Keeps the price down. And you know everything before you get here. Again, help me out, hit subscribe, share this video. I'll keep doing it. Thank you, see you later.